guys, what's up and welcome back. Today we are gonna check out some new leaks regarding season 10, including new equipment, a whole new section and more. So definitely make sure to watch the full video, and with that being said, here we go. Okay, so let's start off with Breach Ground War. And this mode is actually a whole lot bigger than I originally thought. Okay, so just to give you guys a quick refresher, the way it works is very simple. We have to capture or defend a target zone on the map, and once the zone is captured, the battlefield will advance to the next zone on the map. Sounds simple enough. However, this mode is actually receiving a lot of exclusive content, and it even has its own section in the game, for example like MP, and BR, and Zombies, as you guys can see over here which is going to consist of different operator classes with skill trees that we have to level up. Sounds quite cool. Now in terms of exclusive content, we actually have quite a bit. We're gonna have a new healing pistol, and interesting fact, this model and design is actually coming to us from Cold War Zombies. And like the name suggests, this allows you to heal teammates by shooting at them, as you guys can see over here, but it does seem like we still have to go to our teammates and manually tap on them to finish the animation. Maybe that'll change, not too sure, but definitely a cool concept overall. Now besides that, there's also a couple of new vehicles as well. So we have a new land water vehicle, which can be used in both terrains, Plus it also has a turret on the roof. And last but not least, this kind of looks like a new type of tank over here, but I can't say for sure. So as you guys can see, they really have put quite a lot of thought and effort into this mode with exclusive content and more, including an original map known as Memnos Island. Now I think the community would have actually gotten behind this mode if they didn't make us think we were getting a new battle royale mode, which I think all of us are still kinda salty about. Either way though, I'm definitely excited to give it a try when it does release in Season 10. It seems cool, but again, most people wanted a new BR map and not a new ground war type of mode. It does still seem kind of cool. So guys, definitely give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. And now, let's move on some more. So earlier on this morning, COD Mobile Global confirmed that the Mythic Switchblade X9 Neon Legend is finally returning to Global and on all versions of the game on the 23rd of October. But remember, Matoka will not be part of this return or rerun. So if you guys have been waiting for quite a long time, at least the wait is almost over, but remember, Matoko is not returning. Everything else is the exact same except we are getting a new character in the straw, which is still unknown at this moment. Anyways, you guys, moving on some more, the Season 10 theme song will be revealed in just under 5 days, and here is a small snippet. Check it out. Honestly, I have no idea why this song is getting so much hate. I think it sounds good, but I guess all of us have different tastes. So, but yeah, I would say I think it sounds pretty good, but give me your thoughts down below. Moving on though, now let's check out some Season 9 info. So here we have all the content releasing this week, and well, pretty much all of it has released already, including the Grim Duo Draw with Urban Tracker and Dark Shepherd and No Legendary Gun. We also have the return of both the Ghost Town Crate with Reverse Outlaw and the fan favorite Bloody Vow Crate with Maxes and more. The only thing which has not yet released is the Double Tap Draw, which I think might be exclusive to Greener, but of course, let's wait and see. Anyways though, to finish off the video, I want to show you guys the brand new cashback top up event because I was actually surprised to see how many people don't know this is currently in the game. Okay, so if you head over to the store, you'll see this option over here, 
which quite simply just says top up event. So pretty much how this works, when you buy CP, the bar at the bottom fills up and rewards you well with rewards. Like always, you can get back some CP for buying CP, but it also contains some really nice rewards as well. For example, this very bright and cool looking Merc 5 Radiant skin, which you get for buying 960 CP. Yes, it is super bright, but I actually like the design. Definitely not bad. You can also get this very nice looking custom M4 skin known as Immortal Essence. And interestingly enough, the front sight is very slightly custom, it curves in instead of out. It's a small change though, but the skin again does look very good in my opinion. Now besides that we also have an avatar, and again a bunch of different CP rewards as well, the most being 600 once you buy 6000 CP. So overall, not bad. I'd actually say this is the best top up event we've had in a really, really long time, besides obviously the double CP events. But yeah guys, with that being said though, that is currently all the new news we have regarding COD Mobile at the time being. So definitely give me your thoughts on everything we have discussed down below in the comment section. And also guys, if you did enjoy the video, a like and a sub is greatly, greatly appreciated. And again, with that being said, that's going to be all from me for today's video. So thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and for now, well, squally out, and cheers, catch you in the next one, and for now, bye!